Whispers from the Abyss Is it possible high-pitched ringing sounds, also commonly known as tinnitus, could be signs of spiritual oppression? Tinnitus is the perception of sound that does not have an external source, so other people cannot hear it. Tinnitus is commonly described as a ringing sound, but some people hear other types of sounds such as roaring or buzzing. Tinnitus is common, with surveys estimating that 10 to 25% of adults have it. Children can also have tinnitus. For children and adults, tinnitus may improve or even go away over time, but in some cases, it worsens with time. When tinnitus lasts for three months or longer, it is considered chronic. The cause of tinnitus are unclear, but most people who have it have some degree of hearing loss. While there are many possible causes of tinnitus, some people develop it for no known reason. Ringing in the ear is a common sign and symptom of anxiety disorder, anxiety and panic attacks, and chronic stress. Many people who experience anxiety disorder develop ringing in the ears, as do many of those who are chronically stressed. This symptom can also be experienced as having other phantom sounds that persists other than just a ringing sound. This common anxiety symptom can be experienced in a number of ways and can vary from person to person. For example, common descriptions of the ringing in the ears anxiety symptoms include hearing a high-pitched ringing, low rumbling, swooshing, sloshing, buzzing, roaring, whooshing, whistling, hissing, whizzing, chirping, beating, humming, pulsing, throbbing, effervescent like in a pumping sound in the ear or ears, having a high-pitched hissing sound ringing in the background, having a high-frequency ringing sound in an ear or ears, having a stopped-up feeling and or plugged sound in one or both ears, having an inability to hear certain sounds because the ringing is too loud, having what seems like water in your ear that causes your hearing to have a hollow or low rumbling sound. Feeling like your hearing is muted and or subdued. Feeling like there's pressure in your ear that's causing the hissing sounds. In quiet environments, these sounds can seem louder and the feeling more intense. Tinnitus symptoms can persistently affect one ear only, can shift and affect the other ear, can affect both ears, or can switch back and forth between ears and over and over again. Tinnitus symptoms can come and go rarely, occur frequently, or persist indefinitely. For example, you might get ringing in the ears once in a while and not that often, get it off and on, or have it all the time. Ringing in the ears can precede, accompany, or follow an episode of nervousness, anxiety, fear, and elevated stress, or occur out of the blue for no apparent reason. The symptoms of tinnitus can range in intensity from slight to moderate to severe. It can also come in waves where it's strong one moment and ease off the next. Tinnitus symptoms can change from day to day and from moment to moment. The sound can also seem like it's coming from inside the head or the top of the head rather than coming from the ears. However, it is the same symptom. Many people notice the high-pitched ringing sound is louder and more persistent when they're undistracted, resting, relaxing, when trying to go to sleep, and when the environment is quiet. Some people also notice the ringing in the ears sound is louder after deep relaxing, waking up from a catnap, or when waking up in the morning. Those who have experienced sleep paralysis report visual hallucinations, such as shadow people, and auditory hallucinations, such as voices that may sound like whispers, screams, or laughter. Almost as often, people report hearing a loud buzzing or static noise. It sounds like a radio that's on, but not tuned to a station. Some people even hear breathing, footsteps, knocking, or a ringing sound. Many people who have tried powerful mind-altering substances, such as psychedelics, report hearing buzzing and ringing sounds. There's a strange sleep disorder known as exploding head syndrome. Exploding head syndrome is a type of sleep disorder in which you can hear a loud noise or explosive crashing sound in your head. The sound isn't real or heard by anyone else. The episode typically happens suddenly, either when you're beginning to fall asleep or when you wake up during the night. According to the secular world, the exact cause of exploding head syndrome remains unclear. However, fear, emotional stress, or anxiety can also contribute to the condition.
This is something I experienced for the first time a long time ago. A year ago, I was slowly falling into a deep sleep when out of nowhere I heard a loud static sound in my head accompanied by a visual hallucination of a bright flash of light. In the Bible, evil spirits would often manifest in the form of physical and mental issues such as making a person blind and or deaf. Mark chapter 9 verse 25. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. One third of Jesus' ministries involved him dealing with unclean spirits who would harass and torment people. In the fourth season of the show Stranger Things, the main antagonist Vecna goes after victims who have dealt with traumatizing experiences in the past, such as Max. Max's past experience with trauma came from watching the Mind Flayer brutally kill her stepbrother Billy in season 3, making her a target for Vecna's manipulation. Before Vecna would attack, his victims would hear a high-pitched ringing sound in their ear. It's interesting to note that Vecna does not go after random people, but specifically looks for emotionally vulnerable people who have experienced trauma. As the old saying goes, art imitates life. I believe Vecna is a fictional representation of how evil spirits look for their victims and attack them. The book of Peter tells us to be vigilant because devils are constantly looking for vulnerable victims. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Evil spirits are always looking for emotionally vulnerable people specifically those who have gone through severe trauma. This is why it's important to be mentally sober, vigilant, and to follow the most repeated command in Scripture, do not fear. Fear is the food source of these wicked spirits. This is exactly why the book of Ephesians states that the battle is not flesh and blood, but with spiritual wickedness in high places. To simplify this verse even further, it is basically saying that the worst battle we experience is not a physical fight, but a spiritual one, one that happens in our minds, with evil spirits in the high places, behind the veil, pretending to be our thoughts, so that we may listen to their dark intentions and motives, and commit vile acts on their behalf. Not every thought that comes into your mind is yours. If it is not your intent, it's not your thought. I have spoken with many people who have found peace of mind and clarity in knowing that not all thoughts are theirs, and that they don't have to identify with the dark, intrusive, unwelcome thoughts that come into their minds, urging them to do destructive things. I hope you guys found this video very fruitful. If you would like to support this channel, I do have a book out about the existence and possible location of the Garden of Eden. The topic in the book is a little bit more lighthearted than some of the necessary things that I've talked about, such as spiritual warfare. For those who have gotten a copy, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested, the link is in the bio. Again, thank you so much. Till next time.